Yep. Another day. More stuff. Josh just texted me a few times. Wanting to know if we're going to the gym. It's cool he's pushing me a little bit for it now. My ass hurts. I ran one out of the four days I ran. Five hours. Fuck. That's a long ways to run. Well, I ran about half that time. The rest of the time it was a brisk walk. Have a workout drink. The guy coming to pick up. Good, where'd the gas go? There it is. Pick up that Oldsmobile today. This thing just dies if I take it down a notch or two. This starts. That starts. This red, there's no battery then. Why not? Right top because the connection wasn't good. Get a battery in it to where you can fucking move it. I huh. Okay. We'll see. This thing will run as long as I want once I pour gas in it. We got two side posts there. A side post here. A side post here. Three, four side post batteries and he takes it out of it. That's the kind of thinking that just don't work. Leaving water like this is not what I want, but whatever. I don't understand why I've got four side post batteries and you took it out. I gotta move it again. You think I'm just gonna leave it here? You're not thinking. And it takes a lot of time. Start it up. Back us up. Hopefully he waits till I move. Can't ever get the right socks on. So I've got one black one, one blue one. Right here. Back up! A little bit more! That's good! Hello. What can I do for you? Hi, what can I do for you? I was wondering if you had any uh vehicle. Nothing like that anymore, I'm sorry. Nothing, eh? Uh, no. Thank you, sorry. Get the hood open. Good. 
Move, move, move. Get out of the fucking way. It's all his wiring, it just melted. What did he wire that to? Ignition, probably. The wrong place. <laughs> I don't know what smells in here. That wire is just for a ride. All the way up to the ignition. Could just be touching another one. Okay, hook the battery up. Okay. Put the hood down a bit and get out of my way. It's like riding a 600 pound hooker. Hey, wait, I don't know. Well, it's actually running better now. I think it was just touching and I pried it apart. That's like riding a 600 pound whore. Kind of scary. Dude, can't you fucking get some socks that match? I don't think I have any matching socks. Do you have more than one pair of socks? <laughs> then you have matching socks, Josh. Yeah. Guaranteed. Out of four, if you don't have two that match, you've got a fucking problem. I do. You gotta quit wearing the jerk off sock. That's why your heel's all tore up. <laughs> it's all crusty and it's tearing it up. Yeah. Well, okay, that got that out of the way at least. Um, I didn't think we were going to. I think it's just touching an ignition, and that's why. Jim sounds good to me. Um, I don't know how much of a workout and how much cardio I'm gonna do, but I know I'm gonna go. Good. So, I don't know. Maybe, when are you going? Have you ate lunch? Uh, I had a banana and a... I'm gonna... Well... 35 minutes or so from when I finish this, I'm ready because then I got to take my other drink. So I'm ready to go in like 35, 40 minutes or so, I guess, if you are. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll be ready. It's kind of pretty with the little blue ice cube, huh? It is, yeah. Okay, so this I'm going to picture tonight. Right. And I'm going to picture it this afternoon. Um... Can't think of anything else we got to do to it. Except unhooking the battery to, or it don't burn up while we're gone. Right. Kind of burnt my finger on it when I took it off. Okay. And then, all right. I actually have cleaned up out here a lot with everything from the truck. <laughs> and my workouts and trash gets brought back to my porch and then causes issues recycling yeah it's a regular mess however I think I have somehow there we go Stop. lost my workout drink it's the L500 for sale. I don't know if it's a cop. It is a cop. Black and white. I don't care what color he is. I'm not racist. I don't like any of them. You don't like them? In out here, the sheriffs used to be green and white. No, I don't like them. I had to put my seatbelt on because I seen him coming up. Oh, jeez. I think 
think a lot of them are sort of, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think most of them are good. I really do. You do, huh? Yeah. You get a couple bad eggs and then paint the bad picture. Well, that's nifty, Josh. <laughs> but then again, I haven't been around that much, so I don't know. But I lost my license when I was 16, so I, you know, I had the, I didn't appreciate that. But then again, I was speeding. So I think they are mostly just trying to save your life. Like if you speed, they take your license away, or were you going really fast? I was going like 110. Oh, okay. Yeah, with, with a bunch of kids in the car, and I shouldn't have been driving anyone, so. Oh, because you can't, when you're young, you can't drive with? Yeah, the JOL, Junior Operator's License. You can't drive with people in the car? No, not for six months, and I couldn't wait. <laughs> and, and I was swerving in and out of lanes. <laughs> Jeez, Josh. Dude, I wasn't drunk, I wasn't high, like... <laughs> Just a stupid kid. This cop's been watching me and like he don't like my plate. He oh, sat there at the lot light just looking at my license plate. Oh, and there ain't nothing wrong with my plate. Right, and I think when they see that you're in sort of like a nicer car, they, they know that you're a professional and you know you you know it's not some like shitty car and oh wait a minute, you could be You are young. <laughs> You are young. Oh, but then it might be more suspicious. They don't give a fuck. They're just going to fuck with you. If you're in an okay car, now you got the money to pay some fines. All right. <laughs> you could have ran your plate. You think you ran your plate? No. Oh. They don't even know what to come back with or how to look it up. <laughs> I don't think. Because like a different thing. Because it always takes them an hour and a half or so when they pull me over. All right. They'll go back and forth and back and forth with me. I think a lot of that, too, is just taking the time. You think a lot, Josh. Well, they're not in a rush. They get paid. They get paid by the hour. Douchebags. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, your god, what? I always think that I, it's just such a big vehicle and you're like swinging it so far, it looks like you're gonna hit. Jeez, Josh. When are you gonna learn? I'm a professional here. That's true. Crunch. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it would. What an asshole! What a fucking cocksuck. That'd be great. That'd though. be funny. <laughs> like, I'm a professional. <laughs> like, smash into yeah, that'd be great. It'd be funnier if you did it. If it was like fake or something. You know? How far away from that line am I? Yay. Yay. You ain't got a fucking. You can't get an inch converter in your head. I don't know. Holy fuck, you must think your dick's six feet long. <laughs> Fucking A. About six feet. Don't you mean inches? Nope. I mean feet. Damn, those school buses are huge. Was yours really short? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, talk about opening yourself up for something like a horror. <laughs> uh, and you were talking about a little short one. The teacher must have had to pick you up. <laughs> okay, gotta get Josh. <laughs> Send the nurse down. <laughs> they go on a little mail truck. <laughs> <laughs> they got you the special special seat in the back like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> What's that his name? You didn't see Silence of the Lambs, you don't know. Nah, I, I've heard it's a good movie though. Well, Josh, if you can form your opinions from that, you'll be just like every other middle middle in the world. Yeah. Well, I heard that's good. Well, I heard that's bad. Damn, I need to eat something now. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and polish off my chicken. Oh, nice. That's what she said. That what? doesn't sound like anything good, though. It sounds like I'm gonna go home and choke my chicken. <laughs> well, yeah, it does. What, what kind of chicken do you get? I got ground chicken. Oh, nice. So, like, you cook it up and everything? I already have. Now it's just all cooked up and I'll put it in a shell. I've made it from Friday lunch until now. This will be my last meal. That's the way to do it. That's Wednesday. What is this, Wednesday? So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six days. Six days. I think so. Six days. Okay, and I spent five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. That's really good. So that's fifteen plus a loaf of bread 
My but bread. I got one. No, three dollars. I get the good stuff. Oh, good. Got to get whole grain. All oh, right, right. And a package of tortillas. So five for the tortillas, three for the bread. I think that's jackass. Fifteen. Twenty-three dollars for six days of food. It's like your dad was saying. That's the best way to get out of debt. Stop eating out. Well, not what he said, but you know what the radio person said. Fucking A, I've been telling you that since I met you. You have? Seriously? Won't listen to me now. Somebody on the radio says it, and now it's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Plus, you have to control what you're putting inside of you. When you oh, God, I'm getting some good food, man. So prime. Oh, wait, I got 26, 27. I got 27 in it because I got some cheese. 27 eggs? 27 dollars in it. Oh. No, there's actually about 30 eggs in it. Two pounds of chicken, 30 egg whites. The scales have to be wrong. Even if they're wrong, though, they have to be subjectively wrong. What's that now? Wow. Well, I mean, if the scale was wrong, meaning like it was just differently calibrated there and here, that wouldn't matter because since Sunday I've lost three pounds on this scale. Oh, so, shit. Wait, did we time? Did we? Nope. Well, that's easy to do. Just wait till we get to the yard, and you can ask it. Whatever, do what you need to. It, that's on Mission Jorge Road, right? Jorge. Yeah, that's someone at work that we that knows the name. He didn't like to be called George. <laughs> it was Jorge. Tough shit. Move back to Mexico then. All right, got a customer here to pick up a <clears throat> car. See how hey baby, it's okay, it'll be okay. Leave her in the air condition and air condition and and then. Yeah, I think he's here. We shall see. How you doing? Pretty good. I think. You think? I was talking, you know, they have a, an old carburetor laying around, huh? Like a old Holly double bumper. Uh, you know, about an 800? Oh. Probably not. 750? No. Nothing? No. Nothing like that anymore. Nothing? No. Okay, I guess I came to pick this up. Yep. Um, I guess you've got paperwork or something, and I've got title work and money and all money, this kind no, of stuff. I got all the money here and everything. Okay. Um, I have you called him, and I want to make sure he knows and he's got eyes on the ground and it's what he's looking at and stuff. I mean, I want to make sure he's a happy guy. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <clears throat> I know. I mean, the car isn't. Uh, I, I checked the VIN number. Oh yeah, it's all good on that. My my thing is, and some people freak out. It's old paint. It needs to be painted. That's, That's the worst paint. thing. That's and this here, this piece deteriorates over time and that's the problem here it needs yeah. to be replaced and it's oh, just yeah, that's, old that's, but i mean when you if you're going to put a paint job on it you know you're going to put a quarter top but um yeah i just wanted to i got to get a couple things out of it i actually drove this one around quite a bit drove it around i drove not not lately it's that for about eight months since last time but it's a good runner and it's real miles, 94. 
everything works in it except for, if I remember right, the, um, at some point the low coolant light comes on and stays on no matter what. There ain't, there ain't low coolant in it, nothing like that. I think it's just a um, sensor. Maybe. Um, you know what? Where are you at right now? Back there. Let's see. I, you know, I don't think I'll be able to. The guy down here, he said that some bits smoke today. Yeah, I think everywhere is closed, but here, you should be. See, I was going to ask if you got the gas. Let's see if I can work right here. Down here. Come on, pull up. Oh, you're fine right there too. Am I, am I right? I think you'd be fine right there, or you could pull in here if you want, or ask, wherever. If you ask him, that's fine. You know, if you want to just, yeah. you could almost, you could almost back in and crank it up to it if I get my excursion out of the way. I want to drive it uh, ahead. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Exactly. Back. Yep. Yep. Let me ask this guy. So I'll fill up my gas tank. Hey, how far is uh, Pismo Beach from uh, Ventura? Ballpark. Uh. Ventura, probably 95 miles. Pretty nice up there. I haven't been up yeah. here in like 30 years, but it's nice. Pismo Beach is pretty nice, right? Pismo? Pismo, where yeah. you, isn't that where you guys are? Yeah. Hey, that's before Cambria? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I went to Cambria. I like Cambria coming up there with all them rolling hills and everything. It's pretty up in that area. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have got cars galore. We lost Josh. He was going to help us. And we lost him. We lost him. Uh-oh. Oh, Good. Right you got the paperwork and I'll sign everything and get all the paperwork going? Yeah. Well, let's get over there. Money, money, money. Okay, you know what's funny? If this was a caprice, I'd either be getting fifteen hundred dollars more, or I'd have sold it ten times over. Everybody in the world, I, I, I would not even fit. You could probably get twenty-five, thirty-five hundred more. A Caprice, Caprice just Caprice. no, a Chevy Caprice oh, okay. in the Chevy body. Yeah, they get so much. But these have more options. They're cool. I like this. Yeah. I like older Pontiac. That's kind of my favorite. Well, he kind of likes this shit. He said he used to have one of these or he something, did. right? Yeah. yeah. And you're his dad. I'm his father-in-law. Oh, father-in-law. Gotcha. Okay. This is authorization, whatever. Okay, that's, that's you. Me. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the hell you. What the hell? I'll have to sign this. Yep. Okay, we need to keep the originals and I'll send. I have all that. I have all that. Okay, cool. I'll give him his stuff. I'll talk to you later in a minute here. Okay, thank you. Bye. Isn't it crazy that these look like the old ones uh, now? Yeah. I mean, the, when you get the old, old ones, they look really weird. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you get pulled around. I'll get these okay. I'll get these to her and I'll get them back to you and yeah, then I'll back I'll my excursion out. out. I'll be out here. Okay, I'll be right back. <clears throat> nice guy. He won't finish last even though he is a nice guy. Frickin' lost, Josh. Bye, Josh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. nothing? You could be out here learning life and you're doing nothing? Wow. Ambition. Ambition. Okay. Breeder. What are you doing? I need to ask that guy if he wants to be my father-in-law. Hell, I need a father-in-law like that. Go pick up shit for me. You name it. Huh, breeder? I don't know about you, dude. What? I don't know. <laughs> just sounded cool. It did. Can you back out without hitting shit? Yeah. I know you can. I just have to ask that way to where when you hit shit I can go, FUCK! I thought you said you could back out without hitting shit, you know? Okay, I'm gonna back this out, you back this out, and then you're gonna 
I'll pull this in and then I'll hop in that car. Okay. I like this guy. He's a nice guy. I need a father-in-law like this. He's just definitely on the ball. Messages, messages, messages. Calls and texts. You name it. Good car. Looks like I just volunteered to pull it on, huh? I think so. How far? Right. How far? Let me see how that pickup goes up and down. Let you got it. Three quarter ton? Yeah. Wow, pretty tough. That's good. Right there. You got most of it on there. Okay. No, not with that, not with that hip there. Is that electric? Yep. That's good, like Benny. Fucking bugs it in that motherfucker. Get clean. That's as tight as I. Oh, no, won't be able to reach it from the other side. I was gonna say I might be able to get a little tighter, but that's no, about that's it. Fine like that. I ain't gonna be able to put my big arm in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you have these in your truck? Right. That one goes over here in the front. Put the other put put the other one away. Uh flip it. Uh the other way? Oh wait a minute. Oh fuck up. It was right? <laughs> you were right. Okay. Big end out. No, but put it put it upside down. Oh gotcha. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Come on now, Josh. Over here. Over here. Look at this and you can see. See? So. Other way? No, no, you got it. You got it right. Flip, Flip it down. Other way. Flip the bung up, that's all. Okay. Perfect. He's been going to the gym, he needs to get it. I don't know. For 72 years old, I don't know. 72? You don't, I wouldn't have guessed that. I was thinking early, mid 60s. Oh, uh, 72. Give me my paperwork. Oh, yep, yep, yep. You ain't got it. Josh, piece of paper in the center console of my truck. Yeah, I brought it. I just <laughs> left it in my truck. That's not locked, is it? Oh, I must have hit it when I was leaning up, kind of crawling out. I butt locked it. Yeah. 
How many miles a gallon you get? Have you pulled stuff like this before? Yeah, I just pulled back a little Toyota pickup. What are you getting? Ballpark. About 20. 20, huh? Is it is it a 62? No, it's, it's a, a gas or 350. It's a 305. Just a wow, 305. And them motherfuckers they get good mileage. Okay, that's fine. Now that goes with the other two, just like this. Okay. And that's the last transfer form uh, to yeah, me to him. In case he can call him. Samantha, Samantha can do anything she needs that you guys need also. Wow. Done deal. Cool. Um, the chain in the front and strap in the back. Yep. I just doesn't know where he wants to go on all this. I mean, Alpha, right? Yeah, Josh. They were nice. These are even nicer. I'm gonna, I usually catch it. There's a couple of body holes in the frame yeah. on this one. Nice yeah, ones. Okay, There's nice ones. Uh, right? There's okay. some right about. Oh, you're going way up here. Yeah, way up here. Okay, you like that one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, from here, from this one here, the next, the next one's a bigger one. Go over the axle. You want it over the axle, yeah. got it. So that way it'll... There's no, no lines there? Josh, grab the other... Um, grab the what? Strap, other strap. Okay. You know, it's down on the ground now. Yeah. It won't hit that... Uh, it's gonna hit that line. The line? Let's see, hang on. No, I don't think it will. What do you think about that? Let me put that chain up front first. Do, this, do the same thing. Hand me the long end wrapped up over the axle. Okay. Just drop it. Let, feed it through and let it drop. And then run over to the other side, look where you hook it, and come hook this one in the same spot. Let him, let him do it. Let him do it. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to grab it for me. He's <laughs> easy to learn. And he'll strap that down and then we'll strap the back back. Good for Josh to learn. I definitely include people in things, even sometimes when they maybe don't know jack squat about it. I don't care. Only one way to learn. Get your ass out of the trailer, come start doing. You sit in the trailer and stare at the fucking wall all day long. You ain't gonna learn jack shit, but how to stare at the fucking wall and maybe wallpaper patterns or something. So that's all I got to say. Okay, got to get this done. At the same time, I got to get a picture of this. I want to take a picture. I take a picture of all the cars that leave. Even it makes it easier for just... Hope there's not a beekeeper around. That boy will be going to jail. Let's see if Josh kept helping him or not. He kept helping him. Good job, Josh. Seriously, I, it makes me proud. Rather than being a douche and going back inside, like a lot of these kids will do. I ain't getting paid, he's just, I have him come out here and do things with me. He's just sitting in the trailer.
Maybe this makes it back to Nathan? All right. Maybe this doesn't. I don't know. I don't smoke. Well, then probably will make it back to Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> What's that gonna do with him bouncing up and down on it? <laughs> okay, man, have fun. I'm gonna take a video right now. Okay. Um, let me know if you need anything. Help him with the back ones if you got time out. If you're not doing nothing else, help him with the back ones. You don't know, just ask him, tell me you wanna watch. You learn, you know what I mean? Right. May as well, you're here. See, he even had a good attitude about it. That makes me very proud because. The attitude wasn't that way when he first came here. Um, it was very... Meh. Well, I don't know. I can't do that much. Like, even when we went to the gym, I'm like, dude, this is some treadmill, man. Okay, like, I usually do about, you know, five minutes or ten minutes. Five minutes or ten minutes, boy? We might as well not even do it. <laughs> no doubt. That's nothing. Hour and a half later, well, it took him a couple times to work up to it. Same thing with working out. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Hang on a sec here. I'm almost there, hang on. What? Cooper sedan. What? Coop or sedan? Coop. Oh, that's the T3, T300. A black one. Do what? Or a Lexus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, those will go through with, um, hang on, where are you located at? In Compton. Yeah, you can get a you can, a guy can get a pretty nice one for thirty five to forty five hundred bucks. Um, so they're going through for about thirty five. They're going through for thirty five to forty five. It's going to cost you about an extra seven hundred bucks to have me get it. But so I mean, you're probably going to be somewhere around forty eight hundred bucks, forty nine hundred bucks, and be a nice little car. Yeah. But. Well, you know, it just depends on what's going through. It'd take me a few weeks to find it. I'd probably look at a dozen of them before I bought one, you know. So, cool, yeah. Let, let, oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, let me know when you guys are ready or something. I'll be glad to help you out. All right. Okay, man. Have fun. What's up, Josh? What's up? Yeah, buddy. Wow, LED streetlights. Whoa. Yep. Ooh. Something for your oatmeal. Nice. Oh, and just by themselves. Try them out. Okay, cool. Really happy. My ass hurts. Been doing the treadmill. The elliptical. I've done almost 20 seven miles in five days so i guess it is good that my ass hurts wow. there you go. thank you uh-oh uh -oh. 
I'll pay you back when I start working on stuff. And on what now? On everything. Like, I'll try to give you as much as I can. Like, it's not. Like I say, it's, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play the game like that. I'm not going to carry some big thing and try and keep track of this truck for fucking six, nine months for you. You're in for what you're in for. If it's 20%, it's 20%. Whatever it is, it is. I'm not going to keep an open thing where it's like you can just buy in whenever you want. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, you're in for what you're in for, and I don't need no more, I don't need no more money on it. We'll just do what we do. Don't stress it because you're obviously not coming up with it. Well, That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean. I'll give you what I can, and I'm not trying to. Um, I don't need anything else on it. Let's just call it what it is, and you'll be in for. In general, for whatever you know. For don't need any money. You just you keep doing what you're doing, and I'll end up giving you money. But I don't want you to give me money. But I do want to give you money when you do more stuff. Like you've worked nine hours this week. Actually, kept track this time. <laughs> Did last time too, it just we had that last week we had to catch up on keeping track. I mean, you'll make a chunk when we sell that thing too. Of course, we'll have to buy something else. So what? A trailer. Yeah, but like, it's, I'm not even really. I mean, you pretty much paid for all of it, so I really don't. I don't feel comfortable with that. We got money there that you put in when you worked. You still got that whole first paper. Besides check. I'm not concerned about that. Like, so I'm you got happy. money there. You got money there. I'm just happy to be living in. I'm really not concerned about it. Probably just spend it on fast food anyway. All I'm interested in is knowing where everything is ahead of time. Is where there's no question in the end. Mm -hmm. Just I can't keep track of it unless. Just picked up your phone to call me. Right. It's in, it's in my hand. I'm walking my bedroom and I slid my thing over to call you in the phone right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's so, up? hey, so what's up? Nothing. Why, you never contact me. I figured I'd contact you. Your fucking messages Good. are full. Good. Everything. I know. Hey, do you work out or anything anymore or do you just kind of eat bonbons? <laughs> I do, yeah. Do you really or are you just saying yeah. that? No, I do. Actually, during the summer, I was really bad, and that's why I'm still home, getting ready to go to work, because I worked out. I hadn't been for a while, and in the last two months, I've been doing it again pretty good, you know? Yeah. So, like, will you go run the rock and roll marathon with me in November? Dude, I don't run. I can't run. Come on. I swear. You don't even have to I'm run. Gonna... You don't even have to run. You can just kind of walk fast. Oh, my God. It's, they shut down the entire streets. It's 20, 26 miles and there's a big concert at the end. Do it? Huh? Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm, uh, go, I'm gonna do it to it. We have a couple friends that do it and they do like other runs. They have all kinds of like, like mud runs and all kinds of yeah, runs. Yeah, see, I'm not into that because like when people go through the little mud holes, they piss in there. Ew. Think about that. I mean, like you're running all this time and you've got to pee. What do you do? You wait till you're under the mud and you pee. Do you really think so? Yes, I do think so because if I was running and I had to pee and it counted towards my time, I wouldn't stop to pee. I would wait till my body was in the fucking mud and I'd piss. That's disgusting. It's, I dis never even thought about that. <clears throat> it's disgusting, but that's why I won't do a mud run. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, oh God, there's probably a turd in there even. Oh. 
Yeah. I mean, what if somebody just had to drop one and they just said, oh, I'm stuck, and they like went, oh, and then pulled their pants back up and kept running? You'd never even know if they wiped or not because there's mud all over them. <laughs> even your fucking father did a marathon. He did? Yeah, he did. What are you talking about? Dad did a marathon. When? Back when we were kids. Like, I don't, back when we were really. No, it is. I swear to God, I wouldn't lie. Are you serious? Yeah. How do you know that? Or how did you find that out? I know lots of things. Oh God! Don't you see now? If he can, doesn't that make you change your thought about it a little bit? I actually thought about that, and I'm like, oh come on, you know? I mean, geez. No, I mean, I would, I love the idea of it. I just, I mean, it's not something that I would ever think about. Like, I can't do it. Half marathon. You could do a half marathon. Uh, you still have. You're gonna look stupid if you go out there and you don't run. No, you don't. There's all kinds of people that go walk. Have you seen? We're talking the rock and roll marathon to begin with. We're not talking like the one where the Olympians go. We're talking these motherfuckers that dress up like Elvis and big fucking chickens. Yeah, but the rock and roll marathon, like those are like serious athletes. Like, well, some of them are, and some of them are just people that go out. You've got they give you six hours to complete the half marathon. Did you already register? You know, it, 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 like um, it costs a lot of money, I think, doesn't it? It costs one ninety nine for the tour pass, and then you can go to three check-in points. So uh, I, I might do a half marathon in L.A. in October, and then yeah. do the full one in Vegas in November. But, like, you can go to three in a year. That's a lot. Well, I don't know if I'll go to all three, but even if I just paid one ninety nine and went to one, I'd be happy. Right. And plus, you get a free Snoop Dogg concert. Oh, that's good. I, did, I, did I tell you I went to Duran Duran? No. Yeah, I went to Duran Duran like three weeks ago. Where at? Irvine Meadows. Was it cool? Yeah, it was really cool. They did. They only did like a couple of their new songs, thank God, because like it's cooler here than like Wild Boys and all the old, yeah, the old ones and stuff. But it was really good. I think um, Willie Nelson. I mean, I saw him a couple of years ago. He's actually like amazing. And you can like, and you can take your weed, huh? Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty funny, like, he, the guitar that he plays on stage, I mean, it looks like it's as old as him. Like, it has holes in it, and he played it the whole entire time. He didn't take any breaks. He sang, like, I mean, he sang probably every song he's ever wrote. He just, like, one after the other, after the other, after the other. It was incredible. When did but, you go? A couple years ago? Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's the first... That's the first concert I went to since Clint Black and Wyona Judd tour. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I don't go to concerts. I got no reason to go to a concert. I know. Can't, the fucking beers were $18. I know. It's <laughs> for, for a $40? I was like, are you kidding me? I got a plastic, uh, plastic fifth, man. Wow. And smuggled it in. That's awesome. I thought so. Yeah. But, oh, okay. well, then you need to, you need to get your game up, Tish. I need to definitely set my game up for sure. Go in the trunk? Back seat anywhere. <laughs> um, wow. Back going to work out. I don't want to. Just had some visitors. I didn't want. Fucking total losers. Can I help him out with a tire? Tire was code. I get that. Dude! What kind of vagrant loser fucking tweakers you let back there? Even though I told him that he doesn't like people to walk back here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You don't tell him that. You tell him, stay here. You don't tell him, I don't like people to not come back. There's my property. stupid. I know. Fucking bring them kind of assholes around. I know. Keep a big time eye out tonight here. You could have been, like, just scoping out the place or something like that. Keep a big time eye out, because... That's the kind of, he's looking for drugs. 
Somebody here, well, can you help me out with a tire? He's fucking code, he's looking for drugs. No. Oh my god! It's a fucking tweaker. Right, he needs drugs, and like yep, I guess so the guys the here got busted before or something. Yeah, it's a, yeah. he said, "Oh yeah, he knows me before know. the raid." I haven't been here four and a half years. I've been here about three, oh. but he knows Josh too. <laughs> right, you know this guy. Get the fuck out of here. And of course, I didn't have Google Glass on, or I could have clicked it, because oh, right. you ambushed me. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. He's a tweaker. He didn't know my name. He confirmed it with you and he got it out of you. Guaranteed.